and Mr. Monique. Hi. Gee, you're our very first artist. I know, I'm here. honored. <laughs> yeah. And uh, uh, last year we had uh, members in profile from the Sudbury Arts Council. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, it was from that particular series we got the idea for this show because we had the opportunity to talk to many, many fine artists and artisans here in the Sudbury area. We have a lot of very talented people. We do. We do, yeah. And you're one of them, and we're very happy we're to have coming along. you with us. <laughs> and uh, we're going to be talking with Monique about, about some of the clothes that she's wearing. Here, earrings. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, an a brooch we have okay. here. As a matter of fact, we may have Vicki Belfiore come over and, and, and model this, perhaps. <laughs> uh, but uh, you are an artist that deals primarily in what could be called jewelry and jewelry effects. Yes. Well, I started out in jewelry, actually, about three years ago. And that's how I started it, just something I kind of fell into by accident. It, it's worked out really well. well. How did it happen? What do you mean by accident? I just, well, I just took a class in, in the medium which I work now, mm -hmm. which, is, which is a friendly plastic, but I work with a lot of crystals and pearls and beads Wait, and different said, other things. What did you say about plastics? Friendly plastics? Yeah, plastics? I know. The oh, friendly friendly <laughs> yeah, plastic. It's not always that friendly, most yeah. people tell me. But, uh, is that a trade name? It's, yeah, that's the trade name for it. And then I eventually got into the paintwork and like what I'm wearing mm -hmm. and things. It's all freehand that I do. Do I don't usually draw. I usually um, paint, and uh, I get a lot of people who come and say I want this colors and that colors, and it's great. Can you tell a, a little bit about the friendly plastic first? Uh, um, yeah, is it, it's. Uh, is this an example? Of, yeah, this is an example. Plastic? It's actually a hard plastic, and it's coated with the colors as as you see them, mm -hmm. and you, I melt it and I mold it, and then it hardens again. So it's a matter. It takes a little bit of a knack, and uh, after three years, uh, it, it still takes a practice almost every day, which I do do. And uh, it's nice because I can always um, have somebody come in and bring me their clothing and I can accessorize it mm -hmm. for them in the colors and the size that they want. Could you explain it once again? What is the basic material? Then? It's a plastic and it's, oh. it's hard as you see and it's colored. It's co right. It comes with the colors as you see them. Okay. So some of them come plain, some of them come with a mixture of colors so I can match them to clothing. And then you put it together. Yeah, I, I heat it mm -hmm. and, I, and I mold the pieces. I cut it and I mold it and then I, I make sure that I glue it so it all stays together. Mm. Do you do this in private or in public, this molding and that sort of I thing? I do yeah. it in my home. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. I, I do it on a steady basis yeah. in my home. Yes. But it's nice because I can do a lot of custom work and, yeah. and it's nice that people can come and have it done without having to go and search for it. If, if people wanted to learn to do this themselves, how, how would they go about it? To um, well, I used to teach it up at Carousel mm -hmm. Crafts. I used to teach it when they have it, and uh, it's it stayed a long time for me to be still doing this media. A lot of people aren't doing it anymore, but it's 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 spanned out into three years for me, and it's still doing exceptionally well. Mm -hmm. So thanks to all the people in Sudbury and everywhere else that I've uh, done work for, they've mm -hmm. really so helped me is, along. So uh, it is unique. Yes, uh, I do a lot of unique work, which is nice. Mm -hmm. It's it's very uh, easy for me to mm -hmm. do it, not for most people, but I I find it's very natural for me. Let's take a look at your ears for a moment, yeah. if you don't mind us looking at these earrings, which are absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. Now, they're somewhat the same. Yes, I made them as a matching set, yeah. yes. And they have Austrian crystal, the pink and blue Austrian mm -hmm. crystal, so it makes a big difference when you work with a nice stone, like crystals and pearls, like yeah. I say. You can see, them, you see them flashing they here. Shine, yeah, yeah. They shine. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. Okay, now from that, mm -hmm. uh, now this, this is a lot of your work right now, is uh, with the friendly. Mm -hmm. Plastic. Mm -hmm. with, and I do yeah. a little bit of leathers and suede mm -hmm. and things like that too. Now with the, the work here on your, on on my, your sleeve. On my sleeve, uh, yes. Uh, we should still have Vicki doing, uh, doing this mm -hmm. interview because, uh, and, and perhaps someone who's not as colorblind as I am too, but this is absolutely beautiful. Uh, how does this work out? Um, most of it is hand done. This is called glacé and a filigree and it's actually applied mm -hmm. first and I do the paint work after. But a lot of my work is also just strictly hand-painted work. Yeah. So it, it's great because uh, I can say I can match it up again what people want and give them what they want. So okay, it's if people great. want to have some of this done. Yes, they can come and see me. <laughs> no, no, how can they get in touch with you? Um, I'm, I usually put Southridge Mall on Sundays, mm -hmm. and I work also out of my home. I'm the only Bemister in the book. The only Bemister <laughs> so in the book. So there you go. <laughs> so the great Vicky.